Hey everyone, welcome back to my abridged playthrough of Mass Effect Andromeda. Before we can place a viable outpost, we still need to address Kadara's water toxicity. Turning on the vault should fix that. I read your dossier. Dossier, huh? Fancy. So, what's it say? That's classified. Uh-huh. Don't start something you can't finish, Harper. Okay, look. Not starting anything. I'm military. You're not. But we're in this together now. Only thing that counts is getting out of it. If you've got the skills to help with that, and it looks like you do, then... Then we're good? We're good. Did you leave many people behind in the Milky Way? No. Parents are gone, but my old unit could still be alive. Yeah, some of my contacts might be kicking around. Isn't it weird saying things like that while knowing you'll never see them again? No stranger than them being 600 years older than we are. Ugh. If we're getting into the deep stuff, we need a few stiff drinks first. You started it, you're buying. This glyph appears to have suffered data corruption, but on closer inspection, the corruption is required function of the files themselves. They describe a collapsing system via experience rather than by simply reading the files. Guess we'll have to scan for the rest of these. Zero glyph. The material and conductive data in this glyph match our own readings for the functions of element zero but at a much higher level of fluency. Possible word fragments recovered include foundation and abundance. I think that's enough. Adherence glyph. Curiously, this glyph's information is coded to trigger particular emotional responses through sight and sound. Though effects may vary from, though effects may vary by species, in humans, it would induce a sense of honor, devotion, or a conscious awareness of duty to a great task. Got it. One down, two to go. Sometimes on these trips, my mind wanders, and suddenly I'm daydreaming that Kalos is a spy leading a crazy double life. Seems more in character for you. We should help the Angara. the assistance, but you need to leave. I've got experience with Remnant Tech. I know what I'm doing. Mostly. How is that possible? It'll be easier to show you. Neility Glyph. At first analysis, this glyph contains a scant amount of information. But the organizational structure suggests the data is actually describing negative space. The accompanying data is analogous to music that contains long intervals. I think that's enough. Hydrodynamic glyph. This glyph appears to contain data on fluid dynamics, but this may also be an analogy for power or information flow. Some of its data translates as physical sensations, specifically the sense of weightlessness caused by immersion underwater or zero gravity. Score, we're in. All right, one more and the vault should be open. You seemed at home on Kadara. Very at home. I should. 
I lived that kind of life for years. You don't look okay with that. I am. Just not the idea of losing you to someone like Sloan or Reyes. Too many good people have gone off the grid. What does Sid think about all this? Not many miners are out of stasis. She acts like it's all right. She's still optimistic. But not stupid. <laughs> not even a little bit. You said damage to her cryo array woke her early. How early? She saw everything go down. The uprising, authority changing hands several times. Honestly, Cora, sometimes I wonder if she keeps it together so I don't give up. You know, you shouldn't let Drac get under your skin so much. He means well. He doesn't get under my skin. Wait, does he think I'm upset? I think I just gained the upper hand. You know, the freelancer's life does have its charms. So Kadara's tempting you then? Got into this life because I had to. I'm good at it, but that doesn't mean it's good for me. Or Sid. That's why we came out here. Options. Oh yes, endless options. Sand or ice, scourge or murder aliens? Yes, well. Remnant. They're completely fried. Bullet holes match weapons from the Milky Way, Pathfinder. These observer units are damaged beyond repair. Outlaws have scavenged some of their parts. They're hacking it up for scrap. This glyph's data has a cyclical and progressive organization, with each cycle informing the next while creating part of a greater whole. Intriguingly, some of the data is arranged so it can only ever be accessed once by a single user. Semiosis Glyph This glyph contains a massive quantity of sensation-inducing data. Visual, aural, tactile, infrasound, with accompanying signs, but it's difficult to interpret without additional cultural cues. The tone appears to be one of reassurance, teaching, or historical record. Kinetic Glyph Activating particular data clusters in this glyph appears to stimulate activation in others, the speed increasing exponentially. The pattern is reminiscent of shock absorption patterns in kinetic barriers. That should do it. Thermodynamic glyph. This glyph's data contains references to energy conversion or respiration. However, it may also be describing a transformation via some untranslatable process. It pays close attention to mass energy equivalents, though the ratios are strange. Interface accepted. Okay, let's get to the vault and fix Kadar's water. Nice dodge back there, Vetra. Very fancy. Thanks. Learned it from a pirate back in the Verge. Did you know him long? About a minute and a half. It wasn't much of a bar brawl. Okay. Remnant Vault. Let's get this place up and running. Well, we turned the power on. You'll need to locate the console to activate the purification field, Pathfinder. Several interface connections converge here. I will highlight the ones you need. Okay. We should be able to get to the purification console. Pathfinder, this may affect your escape from the purification field. Decisions, decisions. Heads up! Big guys ahead! Let's do this!
What do we have here? Hey, I'm getting better at this. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Remtech. Bet we can grab it on the way back. I will add this map to your interface, Pathfinder. Highlighting interface connections, Pathfinder. Let's get all of these activated. Okay, get ready to run. Here it comes! Go, go! It's less terrifying. Let's get out of here. Kadara. Prodromos. It's small, but it's ours. This area is viable for an initiative outpost, Pathfinder. Confirmed. Calling outpost. Amazing. This may piss off as many people as you manage to feed. Director? I trust you're enjoying the show? I'm enjoying the progress. The show part is something else entirely. Honestly, an outpost on Kadara, where the worst of our exiles stake their claim? You better be sure about this. We can't turn our backs. The initiative failed them. You weren't there, but you're here now, and it's your call. It's a win, and we'll take wins wherever we can get them. You need to do this again. Another step forward, but of course there's more. There's always more. Time for the public address. Think you can distill something motivational out of this? Something to sell Kadara? You'll actually run it? I may have concerns, but my ledger has one more outpost than it did yesterday. Sell it. We trained for years. But when we reached Andromeda, everything changed. The dream almost died on worlds like this. But we can rebuild it. Bring stability. 
If there was ever a world that needed our best, at their best, this is it. For posterity, Pathfinder. Addison out. <clears throat> I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Mm, nice scent, Vetra. What is that? Jal needed solder, so he traded for this homemade lotion. I feel softer than any Turian should. Another news receiver down. Doctor. Wait. Don't come any closer. Okay. <sighs> False alarm. Thought there might be some acid splash. You're sure it's safe? Absolutely. Wouldn't say otherwise. Nessie Carter, science officer for Outpost at Teon. You must be the Pathfinder. Were you also a part of Mining Company 7? Yes. Well, no, I wasn't a miner, but I worked with Christmas and the others. They're my family. You came to Helios to be with them? I know it's silly, since I'll outlive them. Statistically speaking, anyway. But I just couldn't let them go on such an adventure without me. What are you working on? A hyperpotent phosphate fertilizer using Kadara's natural abundance of sulfuric acid. Hyperpotent? That's good, right? Absolutely. My work will be essential in providing nutrients for gardens across Helios. When we have gardens, which we will, because of you. See you around, Carter. Yep. Bye, Pathfinder. You coming for a drink with us later? You know I can't step away from this composition analysis. Let me rephrase that. You're coming for a drink with us later. Riff, Pathfinder's making the rounds. If you can step away from your rock collection for... They're drill core samples. Not a rock... Oh, he's here. <laughs> Pathfinder. Name's Riff. Mining engineer for Outpost of Teon. Christmas giving you a hard time? Always. But that's just his way. I don't mind. What do you think of Kadara? Mineral-wise, she's a gold mine. Carter is already putting Kadara's resources to practical use. What about people-wise? Sloan was scary on the Nexus. Now, she's plain terrifying. I'll stick to my rocks. What exactly does a mining engineer do? Oh, we're involved in every step of the mining process. Christmas is a good guy, a good miner. But he needs me to help decide where to drill. And when to stop. Good chatting with you, Riff. Anytime, Pathfinder. Dr. Nakamoto, what are you doing here? When I heard the outpost needed a physician, I offered my services. Least I could do after you retrieved my formula. And the setup's a sight better than a shipping container. Good to have you here, Doctor. I won't let you down, Pathfinder. How are your patients doing? Any serious injuries? Much as I hate to say it, Sloan's done a good job of protecting this place. Only minor injuries from people being clumsy. And, of course, a lot of aspirin for hangovers. What about your old clinic? I moved my patients here. With Christmas's permission, of course. And spread the word that my door is still open, just in a different location. A small gesture, but it's done wonders for the initiative's reputation. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Pathfinder. This is it. I ordered three crates. And? And I only see two. Huh. Look at that. Must be a shortage. 
Nix. I was wondering when you'd show up. Do you know everyone? <laughs> Drew worked the stock rooms on the Nexus. Guess this explains why you never sent me those regulators, Seneca. Got busy with the move, but I set them aside for you. Knew the Pathfinder would show up eventually. Were you there during the uprising? Oh, I was there. Barricaded myself inside one of the stock rooms. Total chaos. Must be strange seeing the exiles again. Tan took the out of sight, out of mind approach. But that's never worked, in my experience. So, you're the requisitions officer? That's my official title, yeah. But I take care of any odd jobs that pop up. Scrubbing, cooking, whatever I can do to help. That's nice of you. Keeps me busy. I used to work the drill back on Mars until I messed up my hand. I was lucky I didn't lose it, but the nerves never healed right. Do you have everything you need? We've got the necessities, but Sloan's keeping us on a tight leash. Outcasts check every shipment going in and out. As if the charlatan would be hiding in one of our crates. See you around, Drew. Keep fighting the good fight, Pathfinder. Well, if it isn't the Pathfinder, welcome to Outpost Deteon. Christmas date of Mining Company 7, at your service. Christmas? That a nickname? <laughs> Afraid not. My old lady, Holiday Tate, had a sense of humor. It's certainly a conversation starter. Things going well? No one's been shot in the back, which is more than I expected. You don't think Sloane will hold up her end of the deal? She wasn't exactly reliable as head of Nexus security, was she? <sighs> but I can't complain. Her people have kept the outpost safe, and trade is booming. The outcasts are playing nice now. But we should be ready if Sloane has a change of heart. Consider my shotgun loaded. Anything else to report? Well, there's this... cult. A cult? Seriously? They're harmless, but the thing they worship, that's what worries me. Some kind of massive machine. They call it... Old Skinner. Could be nothing, but their leader, Bishop, went to pay tribute and hasn't come back. I'll check it out. Better safe than sorry. Appreciate it. You look like you've been around the block. That's one way of saying I'm old. That wasn't... Hey, at 61, I've come to terms with my age. I'm the oldest of the outpost leaders, but I'm also the toughest. I didn't come to Andromeda to die. The opposite, actually. You said you're with Mining Company 7? Best damn Ezo miners on Mars, until the ground dried up. Putting your skills to use on Kadara? You made the water potable, but there's still plenty of sulfur in the bedrock. The director wants to use the stuff to make fertilizer. Carter can tell you more. Just, uh, don't sneak up on her. Detea. Interesting name. Does it mean something? <laughs> it's an inside joke among the company. Deteon is a temp name we pitched for our outpost block. It's actually an acronym. Stands for Deploy in the Ass End of Nowhere. Exiles giving you any trouble? We've actually taken a few on, of the non-outcast and collective variety. The uprising was ugly business. A lot of normal people got caught up in it. Glad we can provide a second chance. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Your Nomad is impressive. We haven't put much effort into ground vehicles recently. Loss of vehicles to the cat? Worse. Loss of ground. Don't let its size scare you!
great one. Turn your gaze upon me. Accept this tribute. Reshape the world in your... Wait! C great one, wait! Ah! Ah! Yikes. Bad way to go. Let's report back to Christmas. Pathfinder, keeping out of trouble? Of course. Pathfinder, how's it going? Old Skinner is no more. I heard. Shame about Bishop. He was crazy, but a good worker. Thanks for the update, Christmas. Anytime. Ryder, hey. Kala was right. Nothing missing except Pock. Hate imagining Kalinda tiptoeing around here with nosy eyes and sticky fingers. <sighs> Is there anything you need? Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Detail. Detail. A home in the middle of Kadara, despite it all. What's your read on the people we're working with? I don't bring it home. On the Tempest, I like everyone. We'll talk later. I know it. Hey. Are you happy now that Spender's out of the picture? Damn right I am. Good riddance, too. Someone somewhere will take care of him. And you won't have anything to do with it, huh? Hold a grudge. Me. I would never. We can talk more later. Sure. I got the popcorn, and whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun, like watching vids with Sid when she was little. To Ryder, from Sellers. In your debt. I wanted to send my appreciation for clearing my dear friend Sanjeev's name. I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him, but it does my heart good to know that he will be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavor, and not a traitor. Perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus revolts behind me and start looking to the future. Yours, Sellers. To Ryder, from Reyes Vidal. You surprise me. Didn't think you the type to shoot a man in the back. I may have hid my identity, but you concealed your true nature. If you think this is over, you're mistaken, my friend. You've only prolonged the inevitable. Reyes. To Ryder, from Sloan Kelly. Update. Pathfinder. Don't expect these regularly. Just wanted you to know I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. Your outpost is safe from the Collective and the rest of the crazies in the Badlands. Sloan. Sloan.